Hi, welcome to this session. This is Teacher Raya from Ali Muhammad's Math. Thank you for visiting. And if it's your first time here, I'm so happy to have you here. I thought I will introduce myself properly today. Well, I am Teacher Raya, of course. I teach in London. I teach math in London, secondary schools. So I teach all the way to A-level math. I was born and grew up in Tanzania. I went to a school in Fidel Castro boarding school for four years and I went to Lumumba High School for two years to do my A-levels. Right, enough about me now. Let's talk about why we're here. Well, I'm launching a uh, predicted paper one for Form 4 Nectar uh, 2020 math of course and it's my first ever predicted paper for students who are not in my own school uh, but i do take you as your own my students anyone that's following me and you are just as good as any of my students i that i have in my school so i will help you as much as i can so why are we doing this predicted paper well because um, the, the lack of resources, the maybe the lack of uh, guidance from schools, from, from families, from parents, from relatives, from maybe who are not very familiar with mass and so on. So this is to help you with guidance and also to help you focus where, when you're getting very close to your exam. The questions are carefully selected and reviewed by experienced teachers who have taught in Tanzania and also in international schools. So you can rely on these questions that are a good standard for Nectar Form 4 Math. They are all based on uh, previous exam style questions and your latest curriculum because as you know your curriculum is, has changed slightly. It's now more problem solving than before. So there are 10 questions in section A and there are four questions in section B and you need to answer all questions. Some topics may not be covered in this uh, predicted paper one but there will be predicted paper two and predicted paper three so if something is not covered in this paper it will be in one of those papers. So just to remind you if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now before you uh, leave by pressing the button on the right bottom corner of your screen. Let's see some of the questions that are in paper one then. Question seven is about ratios and radicals and if you can answer those two questions then you're doing really well with those two topics so uh, have a go and then uh, I will talk about the solutions at the end. Question eight is about uh, compound interest and a circle theorem. Of course, these are very popular topics for, for, for exams and we predict that it will be in this exam, in this year's uh, exam paper, at least one of those. So have a go again. If you can do those, you're doing really well. Question 12 is about earth as a sphere, very popular topic and, uh, and uh, bearings. So again, uh, you need to be hands-on because with that question you need to be using uh, your ruler pencil and you need to know how to scale i left it for you to learn it okay so if you can do that you're doing really well again so solutions to paper one would be available on the 6th of september so go ahead and try all the questions 10 questions and come back on the 6th of September and just check your answer. I would advise you to learn with your uh, fellow students as teachers. So you, um, you know, you interact and that is how you learn best. I deliberately did not give the solutions right now. So you can go and practice first. Paper two will be issued on the uh, 11th of September. So, um, get ready for that one that will cover some of the topics that were not covered in here but also different aspect of what uh what has already uh, come out so you might have algebra quadratic equation but in a different format for example uh and then paper three will be available uh just around a week before your exam to do that last refinery okay so now the question is where is this predicted paper 
well it is uh, on the description right there there's a link you just need to click it and you get the paper you can save it or you can print whatever you want to do it's there on the link and it will be or will always be there if you're having problem uh, getting it please let me know but you must be able to maybe read PDF from your phone or from your computer all right so I just want to say good luck with that predicted paper please do it because this will help you and uh, come back and find a solution for uh, for that paper and get the rest of paper two and three see you again and bye for now